you gon' trip I'm like a cup of shroom tea in the morning Cut your throat like hot honey You gon' need water then want some more of me In your head you gon' slip to another vlog. So today I thought we needed a full-on health vlog. It's the beginning of 2021 and I think we could all use a little bit of health inspiration, especially to my babes in Ontario that we're still currently in lockdown. So I thought we needed a good just health at home vlog. So I just went for a little walk this morning. I've been liking to do some sort of little movement, whether it's morning yoga or going for a little walk before my eight or 9 a.m. classes. And then I also just made myself a little green juice this morning, which I've already almost drank it all already. And while I'm remembering, what's in the green juice is just banana, mango, pineapple. And then I just used teamy greens and a little bit of spirulina. I don't love the taste of it, so I haven't been adding too much but I actually finished my 9 a.m. lecture and then I just made myself some breakfast, just a little yogurt bowl with mango, banana, raspberries. I'm gonna work out after I'm done my morning classes at 11 a.m., but otherwise it's a pretty chill day, not too much is going on. I'm thinking later in the week I really want to make at-home health shots with like ginger and turmeric. Just I've been seeing so many people make at-home health shots. I feel like I'm just kick-starting my health. I know we're already like almost three quarters of the way done January but like I'm finally starting to get into a good at-home workout routine and schedule and doing some sort of movement almost every single day. I found it a little bit hard just because in Toronto we've been in quarantine lockdown since like the weekend before Black Friday so since like the end of November it's been over two months and we're not getting out well we'll see what happens with the cases but we're not getting out until like February so it's just been hard with motivation to work out at home because honestly I miss the gym so so much and I can't stand at home workouts but I've just been trying to do my best and get back into more of a routine and more of a schedule all right so I just finished my morning classes it is around 11 30 a.m. and I'm going to work out now which is one of the reasons why I put on my workout set first thing in the morning when I wake up when I go for my walk and not just put on kind of like regular clothing is so that when I'm done my morning classes at 11 a.m. it motivates me to actually work out and get my workout in instead of you know procrastinating it I get it done and then I have lunch let's do a little at-home workout I really miss the gym but it is what it is and then I'm gonna have lunch and get on with the rest of my day every time I fall in love it seems to be at the wrong time you walked into my life and I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind but then I looked you up and there she was in your arms all cute and stuff you got someone no signs of breaking up
I just finished my workout. I filled up my water again and I grabbed a little protein bar. They're just the built protein bars that I already started eating. I also have a discount code for you guys. It's Vanessa to you 20. It'll be on the screen. It'll be in the description box. This one that I'm eating right now is just the coconut almond one. Coconut is probably one of my favorite flavors and you can never go wrong with chocolate coconut. One thing I love about these protein bars is that they don't have a whole bunch of added crap in them. There's only four to five grams of sugar per bar and it's all natural in the chocolate. So just the protein bars are like kind of coated in a dark chocolate. So that's where the sugar comes from. But otherwise there's like no added stuff, which a lot of protein bars have. So that's great. Um, I think so far the fav my favorite one that I've tried was like a lemon cheesecake one. They have like 18 different flavors. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up all of my workout equipment, put it back away, put my room back in order because if you guys are new around here or you just don't know my bedroom layout that well, I actually push my bed over a good like two feet so I have room to work out here. So I just gotta put my room back in order. But then I'm gonna go warm up my lunch because I actually have leftovers from yesterday, which is always great. <laughs> So lunch today is just my little ground turkey sweet potato bowl and then there's onions and peppers and seasoning in there. Just leftovers from yesterday, but still so good, so yummy. And then there's some cheese as well in there, but this is one of my favorite quick dinners and then I always make a lot so that I have one to two lunches left over. So that is just what we are having for lunch today. lunch and I decided I wanted to make myself a big pot of tea like you just saw this afternoon I feel like such like a British grandma making a big pot of tea you know afternoon tea but I'm just having it in my little be happy mug I got this for Christmas I think it's absolutely adorable but I'm gonna drink my tea and besides taking care of your physical health taking care of your mental health and your mental well-being is also super important and should be a part of any of your routine or health day or just you should be considering your mental health as much as your physical health some of the things that I've been liking to do lately I love journaling in the morning I've been doing the five minute journal if you guys have been watching my past videos on my self-care challenge I have been doing the five minute journal every single morning of that challenge and it's just a little bit of gratitude every morning which I personally have been finding that it really makes me just more happy and ready for the day and I feel a little less anxious when I do what I find because I sit down and take in all the little things that I'm so grateful for and have to look forward to in the day rather than waking up and focusing on all the tasks and lists of things to do right first thing in the morning. And then I've also been doing my little daily devotions in the morning, but I also have been starting to get back into reading and you guys will also know I started reading this book. It's just the little book of Hig. I'm about halfway through. It basically is just about a simple way of living happier and just how to take in the simplicities of life and enjoy them, you know? Like sit at peace and be happy with everything that you currently have and everything that you can be happy for. So I've been loving reading that in the afternoons. And then also today, I'm gonna sit down and start planning out some of my February goals. Since we're getting close to the end of January, it's time to plan out my next monthly goals as well. So I'm just gonna take some time this afternoon and do that and that's gonna be kind of my slow down, my afternoon slow down, take a break from the schoolwork and the anxiety and stress and focus in on some things that are more important to me as well as things that will positively impact my mental well-being. So I changed into some more normal clothes now, but we are going to make dinner and tonight for dinner I'm just having some salmon and rice and either broccoli or kale salad. I haven't really decided yet, but that 
that is what's up. Here's my dinner. I just made salmon, brown rice with some salsa on top, and then a little kale salad with apples, carrots, and red pepper, and then some goat's cheese. Also, I got these adorable clay plates for Christmas. My mom got them for me, and they come in two colors. They came in this one and then a lighter pink, and I'm honestly obsessed with them, but I think they're all sold out right now. They're the President's Choice ones, but they're so pretty. I'm so excited to use them. Um, but yeah, this is dinner I'm gonna eat now and then relax for a bit. I just finished dinner. I'm actually just watching a little bit of Suits right now. I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here just because I'm gonna have a little nice relaxing night, but I also have homework to do, but just need to have a little bit of me time. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little health vlog, health day in my life. Hope it inspired you to, you know, even if you're at home, you can have a good healthy day and take care of your mental health as well as your physical health. Um, but yeah, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. If you liked it, it really helps out my channel, but I will see you all in the next video. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs>